everyone. It is Wednesday and it is time for class. Who do we have today? Hi, everybody. Sorry, I'm a little bit late today. I had some internet issues, but it's all fixed now. How is everybody today? Are we good? Hey, everybody. Hi, guys. How is everyone? Loads of people on today. Great. Okay. I don't know if everyone got my email, but we're painting again today. So we're going to do some painting. So if you need to put anything on the table, do that now. Um, I know that some mums and dads like to put a tablecloth on or newspapers or stuff like that. So that would be good. Um, and make sure you're not wearing anything that you don't mind getting paint, that you want, you don't want to get paint on basically. All right. So obviously for painting, the first thing we're going to need is our paints. Okay. But we're only going to need two colors today. We're only going to need black and white they're the only two colors we're going to need today okay isabella are you showing me something there or no it was your mom putting the tablecloth on that's grand okay so we are going to need your paints obviously we're going to need your sponge one of them okay and we're also going to need a paintbrush so you're going to need your brush your sponge some water and your black and your white paints okay um i'm just going to open mine up there now just have them ready to go so I've got my white paint and my black paint. So brilliant. And I'm going to have to open a new black paint, I think, because I've used a lot of black paint in the last few weeks. So I'm just going to open that really quickly. So I've got those two open and I have my sponge ready to go and my paintbrush ready to go and my water ready to go. Um, it's also a good idea to maybe have some tissue or kitchen roll next to you in case you have a spill. Okay. Um, or you need to wash your brushes, all right? Now, the next things we're going to need are, as always, you're going to need your scissors and your glue, okay? I don't think we've done a single week where we haven't used our scissors, but we have used at least one week where we didn't use glue, okay? So scissors and glue next, okay? And the next thing we're going to need is one of our paper plates, okay? So I've used a bigger one. There's two sizes, I think, in your packs. So there's smaller ones or bigger ones. It really doesn't matter which one you use. I'm using a big one today and I'll show you why in a sec and maybe you can make a decision then what or when you see what we're making, okay? Um, so that's my paper plate, ready to go. And um, the other things we're gonna need are a piece of card. Now the card are the small ones, okay? Card, and it doesn't really matter what color they are. So any color card you like, all right? Except the black, really. Don't use the black. A nice bright color would be good. Okay, so we've got, I've got green card and some leftover paper. So if you have leftover bits of paper, like I have quite a lot of leftover bits here um, in different sizes and shapes and stuff. It's good to use maybe two of those. If you don't have leftover paper, use new paper and we might use at least one sheet of um, new paper, okay? So leftover paper, some card, your paper plate, your scissors, your glue, your paintbrush, your sponge, and your black and white paint, some water, and maybe some tissue, and we're ready to go, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what we're doing today. I don't know if you know this, but it's Father's Day on Sunday. So I like to make um, Father's Day cards for my dad. Um, I like to make them for my uncles. I like to make them for my granddad. Um, so, and I like to make them for my friends who are dads as well. So I need to make loads this week. I have so many cards to make. Um, so you're gonna help me make stuff. I'm gonna show you, this is what we're doing today. We're making these really cool uh, Father's Day cards today, okay? So when you open it up, this one says, Dad, you're out of this world because it's a it's a rocket okay and then the next one I did this one says this one I open it says dad I love you to the moon and back okay so they're just kind of cool things to to make this week and I really really like it and the point of the, doing it this week is we're going to use loads of the things we've learned already this this term okay so firstly we're going to use some sponge painting which we did last week and um, we're going to use some freehand drawing and cutting which means we don't measure it and we're also going to use the curling paper craft that we did right at the start with our lovely um parrots here our crazy parrots all right so we're going to use lots of things we've already done this term and we're going to put it all together to make one really cool craft all right so was everyone ready to go we ready to start 
yep, thumbs ups and everything from people. Brilliant, Isabel. That's perfect. Fantastic. Okay, now, last week when we did our um our sponge painting, we kind of wanted our colours to blend into one another, didn't we? Um, so this is what we did last week when we were blending all the colours. And I'm going to hold it a little bit closer for you there. So you can see there's no white on that piece of paper, okay? But this week, I want to change it up a little bit because I'm trying to get this kind of nice rock effect. All right, so I'm going to do it with my sponge a little bit further apart. So I have some white bits so it makes it look like gravel or rock. All right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make the correct colour and I'm going to make some grey paint. All right, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to um, take my white cap, okay, and I'm going to pour in quite a bit of white paint, like a good, good lot of white paint. I'm almost going to fill up the bottom of the tray of the white paint. All right. So I'm going to do that. Look, about that much. You can kind of see it's filling up the bottom of it. It's hard to see on the white on white. OK. And the reason why we have your paintbrush is for the next bit. I'm just going to use my paintbrush and dip it into my black paint and just take a tiny dollop of paint and put this into my white paint and that will make grey. If you use too much black, it doesn't come out very well. So I'm just going to use this much black paint and then I'm going to mix it all together. So you can see me mixing it there now. I'm trying to show you in the camera without spilling it all over the table. And you can see it's getting kind of a grey colour now, okay? It's a nice, nice grey colour here because I've used a lot of white and just a little bit of black, all right? So that's the tricky bit done, all right? And you can always make more if you run out of paint, but you should get at least half of your uh, moon done with this much paint, okay? So what I did was I took the cap of my white paint, poured in a good dollop of white paint, then just use my black, my paintbrush, to dip it into the black with a tiny little bit of black paint, mix it all up, and I've got this lovely grey colour now to be my um, rocks in my, uh, the rock uh, part of the moon, okay? So when I've that done, I'm going to start painting my plate. Now I'm going to use the underneath part or the back bit of my plate, okay? So not the bit you eat off of, the other side, okay? Um, and we do that because we want that we don't want the card to be all like uh, like this. We want it to sit like this. All right. So I'm going to use my sponge and just squeeze it a little bit like we did last week. Dip it into the paint, and I'm just going to start dabbing my plate like this. And I'm going to use leave some white bits to the side, so you can see I've done quite a bit already just by dabbing it. And I'm not going to blend it in. I am going to make sure the sides are painted so it looks like a circle. But I'm not going to cover up those white bits in the middle because I think it looks more like a rock like this. Okay. So I'm going to keep going all the way around. Like that. And I've gotten a good bit of done. And I'm going to use the rest of the paint now to try and get maybe another little section done. And then I'm going to go back and make more paint if I need it. Okay. And like last week I was telling you, um, about when we do stage scenery, like say, sets for the pantomimes that you'd see on the stage at Christmas. This is how we would do rocks, but we would use a big piece of um, plastic bag. Okay, now, so I'm going to need to make more paint. So I'm going to do that again. I'm just going to pour in some of my white into my white cap. Okay, like that. I'm going to pour in some white paint. Be super careful with this. And I'm going to use my paintbrush again just to take a little bit of that black paint and mix it all together. Okay, so I've got my black paint, my white, and I'm just going to mix, mix, mix. And it doesn't matter if one of the greys is lighter than the other, like because no rocks are the same, exactly the same. I know that a few of you guys live up by the burren and the rocks are different colours. They're not all the same colour all the time. Okay, right. I'm going to take my sponge again dipped it into the paint and off I go again and actually this one is nicer I think it's actually because I didn't mix it very well so there's actually big white sections of it coming off too and I like that though um, and I guess you could use the same technique if you weren't doing a moon you could do a different colors and um, I mean I guess you could do a different color moon if you wanted to but I think this is kind of cool all right so we won't spend very much time on our moon because we've got lots of other things to get done but that is mine done. And you can see there's lots of little white bits, but I like that. It makes it look more like a rock. Okay. Well done, Emma Jane. That's brilliant. 
Now I'm going to let it dry. And I know you know my place for letting it dry is on my laptop here in front of me because it's nice and hot. But don't do what one of my students did last week and put it on a chair to dry. And their poor dad sat on the paint and had paint on his bum. So that's not great. So don't do that. Don't put it on a chair. Put it somewhere where no one's going to sit on it. All right. And that's the end of our paint. Now, if you have a lot of paint left in the cap, you can use your paper just to scoop out the, the paint before you put the white cap back on your paint. OK, so I'm just going to scoop out what's left in here like that on my piece of tissue like that. And there you go. Nice and clean. I want to pop that on my paint now so it doesn't dry out and pop it away. All right. And that's the paint, all the painting bits we're doing today. OK. Um, and again, just when you're cleaning the sponges again this week, guys, well done, Roisin. That's perfect. Well done. Good girl. So I was saying last week about cleaning the sponges. I'm sure you've all done it already since last week. So just wash them out. The sink in the bathroom is the best way to do it. Just so you're not wrecking um, loads of spaces in the kitchen or the house. OK, so if you just squeeze them out in the sink and let them to dry on a bit of kitchen roll or toilet paper, they'd be lovely. And you can use them for forever for until they fall apart in about 100 years time. Uh, you could do that. OK, so um, I've got some paint on my table in front of me. So I'm just going to quickly clean it because I don't have a tablecloth that I can wipe stuff off. So I'm going to just... Just do a little spray on my table and I'm going to clean off that paint because I don't want it to get on the cardboard that I'm using next. All right. So how's everybody getting on? How are we getting on here with the painting? Are we done with our moons? We're done. Emma Jane is done. Roisin is done. Isabel is done. Alexander's done. How are you getting on, Frida? We good? <laughs> Frida's camera is up so high that I could just see a hand coming up like this above it. So it's well done. They are brilliant. Well done, Alexander. That's perfect. Perfect. OK, so we've all put them down to dry and we're going to move on next to our um, the main part of our card. So that's going to be our rocket ship. OK, and what we're going to do is we're going to take the piece of card that you had. My one is green today. And we're going to hold it landscape and fold it in half this way. So like a birthday card. OK, and we're going to try and get it as even as we can. OK, on both sides. All right. So what we've done is we've taken the card, held it landscape wise, folded it over and made a crease on it. OK. And what we're going to do now is we're going to draw a rectangle onto your card. Now, it needs to be up against the folded bit of your card, OK, because we're going to include that. So what we're trying to do is make a smaller card out of a big piece of card. OK. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you with my marker is I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to draw a rectangle, smaller rectangle out of my card. OK, so that's what I've done here. So you can see that the folded part, I'm not drawing on that, but I'm drawing it up against the folded part because I'm going to cut away all of this extra section with my scissors and then I'll be left with a smaller, narrower card. OK. So this is what it looks like. It's folded over. So I've gone from the top and over to the side. And this is going to be my other side. OK, so you're just going to cut out along the two lines that you've just drawn. OK, um, I have a bit of paint still left on my scissors. OK, so I'm going to cut this out. And I'm going to show you what I mean. It's much easier to describe it. Like that. OK, so I've cut all this bit off. And I'm left with this nicer, smaller card. OK. That's what I'm left with. And I'm going to just trim it a little bit more because you can see that I've used a blue marker to cut it, to draw around it, I mean. So I'm, I'm just going to cut that off and make it an even a little bit smaller again. All right. Because this is going to be the main part of my rocket or my shuttle. This one's smaller than the red one I did yesterday, but that's OK. All right. And... That's going to be the part where we write on. OK, brilliant. Now you can see, guys, you've got lots of this card left over. So we might use some of that in a minute to make the um, the flames or the smoke or whatever's coming out of the end of the rocket there. You might use some green. You might use the color you have. It could be any color you want. All right. 
So I'm going to put it to one side for now. I might use some of that later with some of my spare paper as well. Because some of you might have used your spare paper for other projects during the week and others wouldn't have. So it's up to you. You can use that piece of card if you like or you can put it back in the box and you can use it for something else another week. Okay, so we have our card part. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make all the shapes that we need to stick it on, okay? So we've got these windows here. And an idea actually that somebody had yesterday was you could draw yourself and your siblings or your brothers and sisters in the windows if you wanted, or you could cut out photographs and stick them in the windows as well. So that's that's an idea that maybe you could work on during uh, until Sunday when you give it to your dad, okay? So we're gonna make the shapes for the windows, the top of the rocket and the wings here at the side next. Okay, so how's everybody getting on? Are we good? Emma Jane, I never said it, but your new haircut is amazing. Really suits you. From the Laura Lynn donation. Yeah, it looks fabulous. And you did such a good job raising money for charity and you've got a cool new haircut. It's a win-win situation. You look so grown up with your new haircut. <laughs> okay, so we're all ready to go. Um, so I'm going to take a piece of my leftover paper and I have this lovely purple that I'm going to use and I am going to fold it in half okay so it depends on the piece of paper the waste piece of paper you're using so I'm going to fold it in half so it's the widest bit that I have okay and I'm going to use the cap of my glue the top of my glue I'm just going to place it on it near a corner and draw around it twice so I've got one two so I'm going to do it two times all right um I'll do it up here so you guys can see what I'm doing I do it out here actually and um, I'm going to just draw around that once and a second time next right next to it okay now I know because we folded it over that we're going to end up with four windows but that's okay because some people might have four brothers and sisters or they might want to have four windows I'm probably only going to use three on mine like I did on this one but I have four so that means I'll have a spare one okay and when I have those done I'm going to just cut those out okay and because we folded them over as I said we end up with four so I've cut them out roughly first and now I'm going to be a little bit neater and cut them out so I end up with these lovely circular shapes for the window okay so that's the first one so I have these lovely two now cut out purple is my favorite color so I'm very excited about that and I'm going to cut out the other two now so I end up with these lovely circular windows, like on a ship, I guess. Um, portholes, I think is what they're called on a ship. So there we go. So I end up with another two as well. Okay, so so I end up with four, but I'm only going to use three circles. All right, so I have those done next. All right, so so far, what I've done just while you guys are catching up is I have painted with a sponge. I've made my... Um, gray paint with my black and white paint and I've sponge painted my paper plate and that's drying all right then I took my card and I folded it in half and I drew a smaller rectangle in it and I cut that out so I've ended up with a narrower smaller card which is going to be the main part or the body of my rocket ship all right the next thing I did was I went over to my waste paper and I found some purple paper and I folded it in half where it was fattest where the widest part was and over here, I drew around my cap of my glue twice, so two times, and I've cut those out and I ended up with four of these lovely circles, which are going to be the windows. Okay, how are we all getting on? Do we have the windows done? Are we still cutting away? Yeah, you're still cutting. That's okay. That's fine. Well done, Alexander. That is their lovely green colour. Well done. Really nice. It's my second favourite colour. Purple and green are my two favourite colours. And Roisin, you're doing purple as well. Snap. Well done. Perfect. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, if you have enough space on the leftover paper that you've just used, you can use that again. Or you can use a different colour. I have some orange. I might use that in a minute. Okay. I'm going to use purple again because I have enough. And I'm going to do the triangles for the roof or the the top of the roof the top of the uh the rocket and the wings okay and because it's folded over already i only have to draw one triangle okay now but i need to make sure of something i need to make sure that it's going to be wide enough to go on top of 
my rocket. I don't want it to be really skinny, like a really silly looking one like this size. I want it to be big enough to look like it's rocking, rocketing off into space. So how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to hold my card onto my paper with my marker. I'm just going to draw a little line, little mark on either side here. Mine are so small you can barely see them. Okay, there you go. All right. And I, from those points, I'm going to draw a triangle and I'm going to do it freehand. So remember a few weeks ago, we started doing things freehand without measuring. It's a really good exercise because you won't always have a, a ruler or a book or things with straight arrows when you're doing art. And sometimes we don't want things with straight, with straight lines in art. So it's good to be able to do things freehand. So I've just drawn a triangle here, freehand. OK, so what I did was I held up my card to the paper, did a little dot on either side. So I knew that the bottom parts of my triangle needed to be that far apart. And then I drew a triangle and my paper is already folded over. So when I cut that out, I'm going to end up with two triangles. OK, so I'm going to cut that out now. You end up with two lovely purple triangles. One is going to be for the, uh, the top of my rocket. And one is going to be the wings in a minute. OK, we'll fix them and we'll make them the wing shape in a minute. But I end up with two lovely purple triangles. OK, and I think purple and green look really, really good together. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've got two purple triangles. I have four of my purple circles that I've just done with the cap of my glue. I have the body or smaller card ready to go for my rocket. And I have my moon drying on my laptop. All right, that's what I have so far. How are you guys getting on? Are you finished with the windows? Yeah, I'm getting nods from everyone. Alexander was on the floor. <laughs> are you all right, Alexander? Did you faint with the pressure? Uh, <laughs> and Frida's thumb is coming up above the table again. That's cool. Um, does everyone have the triangles done? Are we still working on those? OK, so we're still working on the triangles, some of you. OK, that's good. That's all right. Don't worry, Alexander. It's only a shape. Don't don't have another. Don't faint. Don't faint. OK. <laughs> all right. Well done, Emma Jane. The red. Oh, they do look like ears. Yeah, Emma Jane is holding them up over her ear, her head like this. They do kind of look like. like devil horns. Yeah, or devil horns. Yeah. Or look, they could be really cute as cat ears or a bow. If you put it to the side. It could be lots of things with triangles. No. Doesn't look good. I shouldn't wear a bow. <laughs> yeah, I think it's better when you do do the face, Emma Jane. Emma Jane's making it like a uh, face. Uh, but you could be a cat too. Or a, no, not really a rabbit. I was going to say a rabbit, but they're too small to be rabbit ears. Okay, cool. Right, back to making art instead of making faces. Um, I am now going to start sticking stuff on to my um, cart. Okay. Um, now you're going to start sticking stuff on either to the front or the back. OK, so on the front of the card. So it's the side you open. OK. All right. And when your dad is reading it or your granddad or your uncle or whoever you're giving this to is reading it, they're going to open it this way. OK, so not normally like a card. It's going to be this way. OK, so it really doesn't matter which side you do the, the uh, art on. All right. So I'm going to get my glue and I'm going to glue on my windows. Now you can glue on your windows anywhere you like on it, but I'm gluing them in a straight line. That's that's how I'm doing mine. That's my design. But it's up to you on how you do yours. You could maybe do one at the top and two at the bottom, whichever way you want. You could do the four of them, whatever you like. OK, that's just my design. So I'm going to put lots and lots and lots of glue on because you all know my rule about glue at this point. I'm going to run my little dot all the way around my glue and I'm going to pop that on. OK. There we go. So that's my first one stuck on like that. And I think these two colours are really nice together, actually. My two favourite colours. OK, and I'm going to do another one. Just underneath it, so I'm doing a straight line. And like I say, normally when you have something small and um, it's less messy if you just pick it up and run it around the top of the glue like I'm doing there. OK, you end up with lots of glue, shiny. And we're going to stick that on. There you go. Actually, this could be the body of a clown as well. I just thought that. You could make a clown shape. That could be his, like, his jumper. And if you made a circle and then put his 
hat on it could be like a, a clown couldn't it so there's lots of things you can do with shapes i'm always inspired when we make something and i go oh this could also be this thing or it could be this thing so like just like what we did they just there with the ears they could be devil horns or they could be cat ears they could be anything you like so i love when people use their imagination and think outside the box all right so here we go brilliant so this is my front of my rocket with my windows well done Oisin that's brilliant okay and what we're going to do next is we're going to take one of your triangles and we're going to stick it on the front because the wings go on the back okay so we're going to stick one of your triangles on the front and how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to put a bit of glue on and I'm going to stick it on now if I stick it on I've got little corners here from my my card and I don't want that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my scissors and do a kind of a rounded section at the top. I'm just going to cut it around in a round kind of shape. So when I stick on my triangle, you can't see um, the edges anymore. OK, when I glue it on like that. OK, that's a little, just a little trick. So I'm just putting glue at the end of it. Just putting glue on the end of it like that. I guess just in a little kind of line at the bottom you can kind of see there it's shining in the light and I'm going to pop that on over the rounded that I just did so this is the front of my card so when your dad or whoever you're giving this to opens it the top bit comes with this okay there we go well done okay now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take your other triangle and we're going to fold it in half and then we're going to follow that line and cut them in two. All right. Now, I think some of you have already done this and that's totally fine. But just for those people who are watching at home on the YouTube channel, we've taken our second triangle and we folded it in half. And then we're going to open it and cut down that line. So we have two lovely even wings for the side of the rocket. OK. All right. So I've got two, two halves like this. Right. And now I'm going to stick those onto the back. OK, so the front is the bit where the, where the spots are and the back. I'm going to stick it on and I'm just going to put a bit of glue again along the edge and glue it on like that. OK, like that. So you can see it a little bit closer. So when I turn it around, it's like that. And when I open the card, that's going to stay flat, stuck flat to the moon like that. OK, well done. So I'm just going to do a bit of gluing now. Putting a little bit of glue along the longest side. And just popping that on to the back of my card. OK, and I'm going to do that on both sides. So that's this first one. OK, and I'm going to do it again on the other side. So a little bit of glue like that. And popping it on on the other side. OK, so that's the wings which are going to stay on the on the card like this when we open it. So it's just the front part moves and these parts will be stuck onto the moon in a minute. OK. Now, have you thought of anything special you want to say in your card? Are you going to go with the moon and the space theme or are you going to just write something nice? What do you think? What about you, Roisin? You're going to write something nice on the card? I'm going to write the I love you to the moon and back. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? What about you, Emma Jane? I'm going to write I love you to the moon and back as well. That's cool, isn't it? Isabel, what are you going to write? Do you know? I'm going to write I love you to the moon and back as well. Oh, cool. And Alexander, what about you? I don't know. You don't know yet? You have loads of time. You have like three days to think of something. You could just be nice. And it doesn't have to be from your dad. That's what I was just saying as well. You could just make this for anyone because you can love anyone to the moon and back. It just happens to be Father's Day this week. So it doesn't really matter who you do it for. Um, OK, so I've got my rocket done. And it might be easier to write it now or you can write it later. OK, so the only thing that's left to do really are the pieces for the flames or the smoke that's coming out of the bottom of my rocket, okay? Um, and I've done this one, it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be facing the same way as it yet is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take more scrap paper, all right? Now you can use, like I said while ago, you can use the scrap card as well that you cut off 
if you want. Um, I have this lovely orange paper though and I'm just going to cut little strips. Now, we're not going to measure this again because we're doing freehand cutting today. But if you want, it's about the same width as the top of your finger. We don't want it to be really fat because we want to put on a few different strips. And I'm just going to cut nice short strips all the way up like this. Okay, so when you see it, it's about the same size at the top of the bottom and it's about the width of my finger if you really have to measure it, okay? And I'm going to do, I think I might do five. So I'm going to do two maybe in one colour and then maybe three in a different colour. I'm going to see what other scrap paper I have. Okay, so I've got nice orange stuff. I have some green. I have a bit of yellow, I think. I have some yellow from yesterday. Might do that one. So I'm going to do some yellow. And they can be different sizes as well because um, you see with my ones, you can kind of see better with this one. It looks kind of cooler if you have them different lengths like that, okay? So it's like, and it, it, so its flames are shorter at the sides and longer in the middle like that. Okay, so it doesn't really matter what size they are. So I have one yellow now and I have two slightly young, longer um, orange ones. And I think I might do a bit of green as well. I might use some of the green paper I had yesterday and I'm cutting another two. So I've got five little strips in three different colors but now you don't have to do three different colors you can do all one color if you like um it's completely up to you you can do two different colors three different colors five different colors if you want if you have loads of paper left over so i've done five little strips like this and um, ready to be curled okay so just while you're cutting and finding paper i'm going to start curling mine okay because i have less time than you guys so if you remember correctly, when we did the curls on these lovely parrots from a few weeks ago, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to take one of my markers, leaving the cap on, and I'm just going to roll my paper around my marker like this. OK, and I'm going to roll almost all the way down to the end, not all the way because we want to glue some on. So when I take it out, I've got this lovely curl. OK, like that. OK. I'm going to do that five times. I'm going to do it on all of my pieces of paper and card that I've just done. So I've got my my uh, marker and I'm just going to roll my paper over my marker like this, rolling my marker. And this is actually easier to do on a table, leaving a little bit at the end and just taking my marker out. And I've got that lovely curl. OK, so I've got two now. I've got one orange and one green. I'm going to keep going. I've got my yellow one here now and I'm using card and paper for this. So whatever you have left over, really, you could do this with. All right. It's a little small, tiny little um, yellow one. And I'm going to keep going. I'm going to do another green one now. OK, like that. So I've made that this one's like a perfect one. This is really cool. I like that one a lot. And I'm going to do my last one in my orange like this almost all the way down to the end of my lovely my lovely curls okay so I ended up with of these it looks like a bouquet of flowers really doesn't it <laughs> I might do this orange one again because it didn't curl very well so I'm going to do that one again so I want it to be a little bit tighter those nice little curls okay so I'm going to do it a little bit better there we go and it's a nicer curl now this time all right so I've ended up with these five lovely curls in different three different colours and I'm going to go and stick it on the back of my card. OK, so when we open it, the curls don't come with the card. All right. And when we're sticking them on, we're going to stick it on with the curl facing you. So when you're sticking it on the back, the curl is facing away from you. All right. I glue it on. Perfect, Emma Jane. That's it. That's it. Brilliant. And they're lovely. Those colours are fabulous. All right, so this is the front of the card. So it's curling towards the front. All right, so I'm going to put a bit of glue on and I'm going to glue it on the back. All right, lots of glue. And this is actually a different color green to my, um, my card as well. So that's what it looks like when it's stuck on. And I'm going to keep going, all right? I'm going to stick that nice yellow short one in the middle, I think, because um, I only have one of that, so it's going to look a little bit nicer. And I'm going to stick on another green one. I'm going to keep going here now. Like that. Okay. 
and done. And I'm going to stick on my last one. So you guys will be flying through this. I know you are. So I can see gluing away. Okay. So that is my rocket ship. You can see that I've stuck them onto the back of the card like that. So the wings and the curls are stuck onto the back. The spots and the and the, the roof or the pointy bit at the top of the rocket are stuck onto the front. So when I open it, my um my curly bits don't move. All right. Now I'm going to go back to my um plate and see if it's dry. Mine is lovely and dry because it was on my laptop. Well done, Emma Jane. That's beautiful. I love the colors. It's like a rainbow rocket. Really, really cool. You could actually call it rainbow rocket. Um, and my paint is lovely and dry. If it's dry, you can stick on your card now. If it's not dry, you can do it later. There's no rush because it's not until Sunday. And we can write something nice on the card before you stick it on or after. So it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to make sure that I have loads and loads and loads of glue on the back of my card. Okay, because I don't want it to fall off before my dad gets it. All right. So lots and lots and lots of glue. Okay, like that. You can, mine's really shiny. I've got so much glue on like that. And I'm just going to pop it on and I'm going to go to, I'm going to stick it at a bit of an angle. I'm not going to do it just straight. I'm going to kind of stick it like it's sideways, like shooting across the moon. All right. That's the way I'm going to do it. But you can stick yours straight up and down if you want, like it's taking off completely up to yourself. All right. So make sure you don't put any glue on the back of the triangle because you need that bit to open. So this is my finished rocket father's day card okay so you can kind of see it now it's taking off here are the other ones i've made lovely bright colors pointing in the same direction they're all taking off well done guys they look fabulous i'm seeing you sticking them on there so these are all my ones i almost have enough for all my uncles and friends as well and uh, can i see yours if you've got them done well done emma jane that's definitely a rainbow rocket roisin love the colors your dad's gonna love that well done guys they are fantastic can i see your one oh Oh, wow, Alexander, the colours are brilliant. I love that we used real kind of fire colours for the tail. That's fabulous. How are you getting on, Is Is Isabel? You're gluing away. And Frida, how are you getting on? We good? Yeah, fantastic. Okay, guys, have a brilliant weekend. Have a lovely fall this day if you're doing something special or just have a nice weekend if you aren't. And that's fantastic, Isabel. Well done. Loving the colours, guys. They are brilliant. Well done, everybody. Okay, so I'll see you soon. Have a lovely week and I will see you next week. Okay, bye guys. See ya, thanks.